Hey, hey, howdy y'all. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to explore a new GPU. This is the Instinct Radian MI50 32 gigabyte version. And from what I understand, these are hard to get a hold of because they were only released in China. So what I did is bravely, we'll see, bravely or stupidly, I uh, went on eBay and I ordered two of them. And what was really shocking to me is, let me back up here so you can see the order details. Oh, it's on this other tab. I ordered them on October the 12th and they were delivered on October the 16th. And I got the uh, version that comes with a fan and they were $210 each. So 32 gigs for $210. And let me, sorry, gotta get my camera set back up here. Let's see how this goes. So I cut them apart. It looks like they just took two boxes and taped them together. And that's fine. We will explore. All right, we got a fan bracket. We got some screws. We have a fan. And we have the card. Radian Instinct. Radian MI series. Uh, Radian Instinct MI 50. Looks legit. Looks legit. We'll see. Let's give it. Let's give it a run. Alright, let's get the card. Get the fan hooked up. Appreciate your all's time today. Well, you got a lot going on. Well, I got a lot going on. I'm sure you guys do too. Been home with sick kiddos for six days in a row. Two different kids. That's always fun. Kind of puts you a little behind. And the week before that, we were on fall break. So I've not done a YouTube video in two weeks, I think. It's been a while. So apologize for the uh, MIA action, but I'm really excited about this because if this performs at all for 32 gig, that might be what I decide to use here at the home server. Uh, sorry for the hold up here. I'll probably just zoom through some of this part. All right, so that was harder than it should have been. All I did is put two screws on the fan bracket here, but I wanted y'all to see this. So they've sent this large squirrel cage fan. I believe this is a 20 mil depth, and it has a considerable amount of overhang on this GPU. And I don't know if y'all can see in there, but it's a lot of room for air to travel. But if you don't get a good seal, it is not going to do much. So, uh, we'll see what happens. And if we need to make a change, we will. I think, yeah, we're supposed to go this way. Yeah, this is comical. I mean... That's going to do absolutely nothing for this card. So we're going to tape it up. Uh, I'll be right back. I got to go get some electrical tape. Woohoo! Looky there. You see that? Yeah, I got it sealed up tight now. Yeah, I have a 3D printer. If I have to, if this is my final setup, We'll make something a little more permanent than this, but for t testing today, yeah, that'll do. Let's get her set up. All right, we booted with the card in. 
Uh, the fan is just a four pin header, so I have it set up on chassis number one. Uh, I, I don't have a mini display port uh, to connect, which is right here on the card, so I'm just using my internal GPU. It's a 9700X AMD. Boot it into Linux. Mission Control sees the card. So maybe it's legit. Go to over here and do Rock M, Rock Info. Then scroll up. And it sees the card. Of course, I've been using uh, using this Linux. Linux instance for other AMD cards like the 570 RX 570 yeah the old school the Polaris architecture and this seems to be working Python not found okay it's Python 3 apologize for that okay we're running our benchmark again it asks the model to explain the fundamental principles of quantum physics Etc. 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 I've explained that in another video. I can't remember it right off the top of my head. But then it just sits and waits for an answer. And our instinct is running 100%. Clock speed is up there. Let's see what our temperatures do. Man, this is tough to read. It's an ultra wide panel, 75 hertz, I believe. So I apologize if you can't see screen when I get in there. I am using my Lumix G85 today. 63. So let's sit over here. Let's wait on some results from our benchmark. My camera set up. Alright, so something pretty interesting is going on here. Let me show you the results real quick. It did really, it performed quite nice initially. I'm going to get my focus set up here. I'm doing manual. Anyway, it did 15.45 initially, and then every time since then, it's getting less and less. And. It's um yeah, it's throttling pretty seriously. Even though the temperature of the card is 79 degrees, I guess it shows over here. 79 degrees. The power draw never gets anywhere close to 225. And the clock speeds consistently stay lower and lower. So that first that first pass is when it was warming up. It did really well. I'm put this back on autofocus and see if that helps. Yeah. You can see there. And the time that it took, it took two minutes flat on that first pass to answer the question in full. And it's been like two minutes and a half since then. So we got some temperature issues, but man, that's not bad. $200, $210 for a 32 gig card. I think it's 15 tokens on a 32 billion parameter model. I'm thinking liquid cooling. I got a second card. I'm gonna go ahead and get that one rigged. And we'll slap it in here and see what we can do on a 70 billion parameter model. Alright. So we've got the second MI50 32 gig set up here with the fan and all the tape and all the goodies. And what I've done is I went into the BIOS and set each of these fans for the chassis, chassis 1, chassis 2, to full speed. So they really hum. And I'm not going to subject you to that. So I'm going to mute the video after I get booted back into Linux and 
I will use my little sound level meter here and I'll show you just how loud that is. It's not a uh, long-term solution. It's just for testing. So uh, let's get into that. All right, you all just really don't know the favor that I'm doing y'all by not showing you how loud this is. As it turns out, it just about drove me mad. No, I did have a headache after doing the tail end of this video. Those two fans going full blast is just outrageous. So uh, I can easily see myself looking into uh, either cutting a hole in the fan shroud or the GPU shroud and putting a fan on there or just removing the shroud and then designing up, uh, modeling up and 3D printing. A, uh, a fan bracket for the MI50. But anyway, um, there is a video of a single car going full blast at the tail end. I did want to get a, a good idea of a single car going full speed without throttling. But I honestly, this is really, really impressive. I thought two, two of these cards with a 70 billion parameter model is holy cow go again with a single car and a fan on the high, 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 370 watts. And I'm keeping my eye on it. Earlier with the dual GPU, they kind of went back and forth. But with the single GPU, you know, it just stays pegged, which is pretty atypical. If you had a, a home AI server, it wouldn't stay pegged flat out. But it's definitely not throttling. It is slowly creeping up there. Oh, 71 degrees. Um, but it's definitely keeping uh, clock speed high, power draw near max. And the results are quite impressive for a 32 billion Quinn 3. If you recall, we did a dual 3060 uh, and ran it up against a dual RX 6800, 16 gig version. And this is the exact ballpark that those two dual card setups ran. Granted, I paid 250 for each of the 3060 uh, Gaming X cards, and I think I paid 335 almost, 338, something right around there. I mean, it was like a few pennies difference between the two 6800 cards I bought used. So that's a total of $470 for the 3060s and I don't know close to 700 for the 6800 and this costs $210 granted the cooling has got to be figured out but we have a new LLM value leader in this house all the testing I've done nothing's even close to these cards um, I'm going to keep working on this and try to get it cooled at a quieter uh, level. This decibel volume, I've got a headache. I'm going to cut it short. That concludes this video. Thank you all for your time. Come back again shortly.